happy sunday welcome back to the healing she got faith channel this is she got faith founder of healing she got faith and i'm so happy to be with you i'm so happy to catch back up with you on this beautiful sunday um yesterday was a national mental health day so happy national mental health day hopefully you got to do some self-reflection and you got to just kind of sit back and just reflect on how you feeling and what's going on with you and things like that. So I definitely took a break and just kind of allowed myself to feel whatever it was feeling and then just really allow myself to rest and allow myself to, you know, cry, be angry, be sad. Um, I just gave myself that moment of this is what I need. So let me go ahead and do it. And so, um, let me just be honest. Like this has been a week, every single day this week, something has happened to discourage me. Something has happened to convince me that my dreams aren't worth it. Something has happened to make me just rethink everything I've ever thought. And to be honest, um, it kept coming back and back. It was like Monday, something happened. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And s Saturday, I was like, I, I just got to let myself feel whatever I'm feeling because it was so intense. And so it's ironic that it fell on National Mental Health Day and it also fell on the birthday of my friend who passed away. And I laid in bed. I was up at 5. And let me tell y'all, I had been trying to wake up at 5 literally for the past year okay i suck at it i am just not a morning person i mean i would rather wake up in the morning versus staying up late at night but no well yesterday i was up at five o'clock in the morning of course and on friday i was really like i'm gonna let myself you know sleep in da -da -da. i was up at five o'clock in the morning frustrated um, I got up, I did, I did some work, honestly, I didn't do anything self-care wise, I honestly just got up and did some work, and then, um, I went back to sleep and I slept for five hours, and then I got up and I did my journaling and I did what I had to do, and then I actually, um, joined a screening for a for some locals in St. Louis and it was beautiful it was about um National Mental Health Day and it was about um addressing your traumas and not having to be strong so it was really right on time and then after that I went to the park and you know the truth was I was just sad I was frustrated. I was defeated. I was over it. I was over life. I, even trying to shoot this video, like I went to the park. I was like, I'm going to shoot the video at the park. And I got to the park. I found a nice quiet place. Nobody was there. And um, as soon as I hit record, everybody named Mama walked by. As soon as I hit record, it was the loudest. An ambulance came. A police car came. It was so much stuff going on and then i stopped recording to see if you could hear me and then you couldn't even hear me all you heard was wind and i was just so frustrated so i just put everything back up i pulled out my journal right now i'm going through a guided journal called release and i just wrote and then i was just like i'm just gonna walk back home and i'm just gonna do what i have to do um because again just back to back to back to back to back stuff just and the reality is i was just sad and even being here with you today like i'm not my best self i'm not putting my best foot forward i'm not the most um knowledgeable person right now like i'm very in my feelings right now so much has happened and i'm trying to give myself that time to just go through what I need to go through so I can become my best self. And so I think a lot of times we don't allow ourselves to feel what we feel. And if those feelings come back, we don't allow ourselves to be okay with them coming back because some of the stuff that we go through hurts us beyond our understanding and hurts us beyond our measurements. So when it 
comes to addressing our feelings sometimes we get defeated sometimes we get tired sometimes we get fatigued sometimes we want to cry sometimes we need to cry and it gets embarrassing we get tired of it i mean i don't know about you but i get tired of being sad i get tired of being tired i get tired of being angry i have a lot of anger in me i have a lot of bitterness in me and even though i'm working on it i have those seasons and moments where those things come back up and it doesn't matter how hard i've tried to make them disappear they're still there i'm not saying they're not ever going to go away but there's such things as triggers there's a such thing as a reminder and sometimes you could be over something for years and years and years and years and then one little thing will remind you of and you have that feeling back in you so i think in those moments we really have to remember that we're allowed to feel those I'm not going to lie to you. I'm so tired of being the strong person. And I'm tired of seeing the women in my family and the women in my life being the strong person. Like, I, we deserve rest and we deserve peace and we deserve to feel what we're going to feel without feeling guilty. And a lot of times, is it a lot of times, what it is is people telling you, you're going to be okay. I've always been that person. I know I'm going to be okay. But as of right now, I'm not. So allow me to feel what I'm going to feel because just because it makes you uncomfortable does not mean that I can't have my emotions. And I've lost a lot of people because, you know, everybody can't handle your emotions and everybody can't take on what you take on, you know, and I, I don't expect people to. I just I just expect respect. And if you honestly can't give that to me, at least just have the decency as an adult to let me know, like, I really can't handle what you're going through right now. Cool. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. But for us, all we can do is address what we're going through. And all we can do is really and truly work to feel those spots that have been recreated. To feel those spots that maybe we never addressed. Like I don't know what you're going through. All I can tell you is what I'm going through. And all I can tell you is that yesterday was National Mental Health Day. And if mental health wasn't a real thing, there wouldn't be a day dedicated to it. And I think it's a real issue. And I think we really, really, truly have to embrace exactly what it is that we're going through. Life ain't always going to be easy or fun or cute. As much as I would love to have a good day every day. It's just not going to happen. And this week showed it. As, and every day I got up, I did my journal. I did my prayer. I did my devotional. I studied scripture. I talked to friends. I, I was productive. I had a to-do list. I was checking stuff off. I took my days off that I was supposed to take off. And I still had a bad day every single day. Every single day. It was overwhelming. So I'm just here today. I'm really and honestly just want to be vulnerable with you because I know I'm not the only one that has felt this way. I know I'm not the only one that has been in this position. And if you are in this position, I want you, I want you to know that it's okay. I want you to know that it's fine. I want you to know that whatever it is that you're going through, allow yourself to feel that. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be okay because I don't know what your situation is. But allowing yourself to feel is okay. You have that right. And I don't know what you're going through. But I know I've been there. I know I've felt alone. I know I've been in a place where I really couldn't explain to you what was really and truly happening. And y'all want to know what's crazy? Today's supposed to be about my story. About my grief story. About how, because October's supposed to be all about me. And I couldn't even do that today because of what the weekend told of. And that's okay, too. Life has a, My quote has been, it's 2020. Life got its own agenda. So I say all that to say, allow yourself to feel what you're going to feel. I love you guys. I hope you can look in the mirror and just give yourself a hug. I want you to love you the way you love the world. I want you to wake up tomorrow and smile. Give yourself a give yourself a pat on the back. Tell yourself, I love you. And 
Just go out there and do what you gotta do. If that's sleep, if that's rest, if that's work, whatever it is, only you can do it. And that's what I want you to do. I love you guys. I'll catch you next week.